Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. In this video, I am going to tell you about how we can install Anaconda distribution in our systems and how we can start using Jupyter Notebook that comes with the Anaconda distribution for doing data science project. So hey guys, this is Ashang David from Coders Arcade and let's get right into the topic. Before we start this video, I would like to request you people to please like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. Now before we start, I would like to discuss a little bit about Anaconda distribution. What is Anaconda? So Anaconda is one of the world's most popular platforms for doing data science project. It is a popular distribution of Python. That means not even it contains Python, but also it comes with all the other libraries that are required to run a data science project. Now it has its own virtual environment as well. So also it is one of the most popular all in one install in data science and machine learning. That is the reason. So if you ever take up any training in data science or machine learning, such as corporate training, it is highly likely that they will ask you to install Anaconda distribution in your systems. So let's see how we can install Anaconda distribution in our systems. So to install Anaconda distribution, first of all, you need to open up your Google Chrome and search on Google for Anaconda. So once you search for Anaconda, this is going to this website is going to pop up and you have to click onto this website link and you will go to Anaconda's website where it says data science technology for a better world. So right now this website is looking like this, but maybe when you open it for you, it may be a little bit different. So you have to search for this download button. So for me, it is for Windows for Mac, you can click here and for Linux, you can click here and for Windows, you can click here. So it's already set on Windows. So I'm going to click on to download button and this is going to ask me where I need to download. I'm going to click on to save and it is going to start downloading and it's a pretty big setup. So I am going to just skip this video. It is 594 MB. Yes. So now we have successfully downloaded it. Now I'm going to open up this. And I'm going to minimize this. So once you open the setup for the first time, this is going to look something like this. It says welcome to Anaconda 3 and it says 2022.05. This is a version and it's a 64 bit setup. You need to click on to next and you need to click on to I agree because you need to agree the license agreement. Then it will ask you where you need to install for for you only. It says just me that is recommended and the other option is for all users. So if you have more than one user account in your Windows, then you can opt for this option. Or if you have only one single user, just like me, I have only one single user. So I'm going to just install it just for me. So I'm going to click on to just me and I'm going to click on to next. Now it is asking me the location where I need to install. So just remember the location. Maybe in future we would use it to add the path variables to the environment. So see users my username and then Anaconda 3. Click on to next and you can see that it says advanced installation options. Now in this step, make sure you select both. Even if it is not recommended, just select both. Because what happens is that suppose you have installed Python 3.9 in your system. Right now, Python 3.9 is installed in my system. And the version of Anaconda has to match with the version of Python itself in order to run. So if I don't check this option for the path variable will not be set up as well as it may clash with my Python's version. So it is recommended that you make the Anaconda's version same as the Python's version in order to run it properly. And this option is going to do that. So make sure you check for both of these options. Then you need to click on to install and you need to wait until it installs. I'm going to skip this part. So now it is completed. Now you're going to click on to next and there you go. 
so it is successfully installed click on to next and in this it says anaconda distribution tutorial if you want the tutorial you click on to yes or i'm going to check uncheck in my case also i am not going to click on to getting started with anaconda otherwise it would open up a windows prompt where it would go to introduction to anaconda it is going to open up the website so i don't want these two icons so i'll click on to finish and this way you successfully installed anaconda distribution in your system now to work with this once you install it you need to go on your start menu and here you need to search for anaconda you are searching for anaconda navigator and you are going to click on to this app and it is going to open up something like this Now this opened up our Anaconda Navigator where you are going to find out all these packages that comes with Anaconda. For example, the CMD that comes with Anaconda. I don't want to update the application right now. So here it comes with all the other packages such as CMD from Anaconda and then Data Lore. And we see Jupyter Labs here as well as Jupyter Notebook. So we are looking for this option called Jupyter Notebook. So once you click on to launch, it is going to launch Jupyter Notebook in your system and you can start using Jupyter Notebook for your data science project. So I'm going to click on to launch. And from here you can see that my Jupyter Notebook opened up in my Chrome. So for me, I've already installed once in my system. So it is asking me the password for it. I'll input my password really quick. And you see that it opened up this Jupyter Notebook into my system. Now, the, right now it has opened up in my C drive. So I don't want my C drive to be opened up in my Jupyter Notebook. I want to open Jupyter Notebook somewhere else in my program. So this is one way that you can open Jupyter Notebook from your Anaconda Navigator. So you can directly come open up the Anaconda Navigator and from there you can start installing and you can start working with Jupyter Notebook. The other way of opening Jupyter Notebook is to directly go to your CMD. So here I'm going to search for CMD and I'm going to press enter and you can see that right now, let me just zoom it in and you can see that it has this. My path is right now, my CMD is opened up in my C drive users and my desktop and my username. I don't want my Jupyter Notebook. If you want to Jupyter Notebook to open up here, you can just directly type here Jupyter and you can say Notebook and you, once you press enter, this is going to open Jupyter Notebook at this path. But I don't want to open Jupyter Notebook at this path. I want it to open in my D drive. So I will first change my control to my D drive. To do that, I'm not going to use CD. CD will be a wrong command in this case. Why? Because here CD is used to change the directories, but not the drive. My D drive is my other drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give D and colon, and I can just press enter and it comes into D drive. Now here I can type Jupyter space notebook and press enter. This is going to open up Jupyter Notebook in my D drive. Let me just give the password. And you can see that it had opened up Jupyter Notebook in my D drive. Now suppose I want to create a file and start working on Jupyter Notebook. What I can do is I'm just going to quickly show you how we can create a notebook inside Jupyter Notebook and we can start working with code. In the next video, I am going to tell you how Jupyter Notebook looks like and how what are the things that we can do with Jupyter Notebook. So here I went into my documents and suppose here I need to make a notebook where I want to write start writing my code. So I'm going to click on to new here on the right hand side and I'm going to click on to this Python 3 IPy kernel. So I click on to this and we came into this notebook. So this is how your Jupyter Notebook looks like and here you can write your code. So I'm just going to write here 2 star 3 and I press enter 
and it goes to the next line to execute this line you have to press shift plus enter and it is going to give you the output of this so this is how your notebook looks like and in the next video i will show you how we can configure our jupyter notebook properly and how you can start writing code in jupyter notebook but this is the way that you can open jupyter notebook and this is the way you can install anaconda with jupyter notebook easily in your system and start doing data science project so that's it from my side guys that's it for this video and we have successfully installed jupyter notebook we have successfully installed anaconda distribution in our systems and so that's it for your for this video guys i hope you have understood how we can do installation and if you have any doubts you post them in the comment section below and i'll be there to answer all your doubts thanks for watching guys that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one